I didn't know, I don't know if you guys did, that um, obviously you were Obi-Wan Kenobi, but you were You in... didn't know that. No, that I knew. Oh. <laughs> that I knew. That... But that you're in the new one. You're in the new Star Wars. Well, hardly. I mean, I, my voice is in it for a second. I recorded a little line in it or something. W when do you speak? I don't, can't, I don't know. <laughs> have, you seen, have you seen it? Have you seen it? <laughs> I did, but... I did, yes, I thought it was very good. <laughs> I, I can't... I can't... <laughs> <laughs> that line, excellent. Yeah. <laughs> you know that bit where there's a... I don't remember where I speak, no idea. But very Alec Guinness speaks in it as well. Yes. I think the beginning of the line is... The character's name is Ray. I'm really struggling here to try and remember. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I think the character's name is, of course, as you all know, Ray. It is. And um, <laughs> so I, I wanted a line of dialogue that said, Ray... <laughs> <laughs> There's some other line that yeah. I say. Yeah. Right. And uh, Ray, these are your first steps or something. What? Ray, these are your first steps. Or something. Something. That's what he said. Something, yeah. something, Ray, something. These are your first steps or something. That's something. right. That's what he said. <laughs> so they they recorded me saying it and then they took they found Alec Guinness saying afraid. And they cut the A uh, and they uh, and the D, uh, D off and then they took the Ray. <laughs> 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 So it's Alec Guinness saying, Ray. <laughs> and then me saying that other line that you yeah. said. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have to go all the way to Tunisia to do that? Or did you... <laughs> no. But you have, it was obviously a very last-minute thing. I mean, J.J. Abrams emailed me out the blue. I didn't, he, he got my email address from someone and emailed me, but it was about two weeks before the film was released. So it was all, all oh, obviously yeah. a sort of last-minute... Yes. Oh, oh, yeah, let's... That might be a good idea. Oh. Mm -hmm. So anyway, it was nice. I was glad to be part of it. it nice. And in the film, you do do the fly fishing. I do do that. And did you know how to do that already? I never. I didn't know how to do it before. It's a, you have to learn to cast the fly rod. Mm. And, do you, <laughs> and are you good at it? Well, I'm not. I'm scared because there's one line back there. Well, no, I <laughs> see. Yes, it's, I'm going to prove that I'm not. <laughs> well, not really. Not really. I I I learned to do it, and then, uh, but the whole. The whole beauty of fishing, if you call it that, is the actual trying to catch the fish, and that's passed down from father to son through the generations. Did you accidentally catch a fish while filming? No. Emily caught my dog, Sid. <laughs> she, Because uh, you have to put the line behind you, through the air, and then push it forward onto the water. And there was a pond up in Scotland near where we were filming, and I said, Emily, you've got to have a go, come on. We were all fly fishing, have a, have a crack. So she went like this, she cast back, and then when she pushed it forward, there's a horrible yelp, and there's my dog with it. <laughs> it wasn't through his skin, there's no blood, it was just caught in his hair. I thought she didn't really go for it. The bait. Yeah, it pulls oh! up a shark. Yeah. <laughs> Sid. OK, well, if I got you to do something, there's, there isn't a hook on, the, on okay. this. So hope no one's eye will be taken right. out. Do you Don't worry. Do, 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 can you demonstrate oh, uh, a little bit? So, basically, <laughs> I think we... we okay. Now... What it is, is so right. <laughs> choose a rod. I don't know what they... Well, do you have a favourite? Uh, no, I'm not doing it. No. Okay. That, that's just... So okay. that's the rod. So you have the line wait, in front of you, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait. If, can, can I... So, can, right. do, do you have any accuracy? I don't even know if I can do it. It's been a long time. Yes, okay. I'm absolutely accurate. Okay, well, look. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm going to take your challenge. Because, right. right, so, so, if I grab Keen's symbol from okay. this, right, if I grab this, right, and put this down here. <laughs> now, this looks really hard, and I think that it looks very hard because it is. Right. But a man this afternoon who gave us the rods... Did it. Did it. Yeah, but he's a fly fisherman. I'm just sending you that challenge. I'm an actor. I'm just sending you that challenge. <laughs> oh, oh. Hang on, I'm just getting ready. That wasn't it. Oh. <laughs> if, you can, if, you say the thing, if you step down, because uh, they're scared I might get caught in the light. Oh, I see. Uh, well, I'd okay. be electrocuted. Uh, yeah, that would be bad. OK. <laughs> oh! oh! <laughs> oh, that was amazing! That was Sam Neill and Hugh McGregor. Now, am I right in saying you've never been in a film together? No. Uh, no. But you have hung out. Oh, yeah. I was in uh, Australia when I was doing Moulin Rouge and when I was doing the Star Wars 2 and 3. And we used to... We'd have yeah. dinner parties and stuff. Yeah. We're all mates. And now, uh, Sam Neill, Hugh McGregor slightly dobbed you in it because he told us that you used to jam. Yeah, his... <laughs> <laughs> His, I did, I'm it, sorry. It's a bit of an exaggeration. We were usually <laughs> drunk, and, and his, his good 
and, no. and I'm crap. That's definitely And he can play guitar and he can sing. I mean, you're singing in films all the time. Even if, when it's not a musical, you sing. You're <laughs> any excuse to sing. <laughs> I used to be dropping my trousers, and now it's <laughs> yeah. singing a song. Yeah. Oh, well. it, because we ha I think, I think, are oh, they... Oh, God, no. No. <laughs> no. Yes, yes. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. It, because your chosen uh, instrument is the ukulele. Yes. <laughs> it's, 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 it's called it's, ukulele. Uh, that's how it's actually that's pronounced. That's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Type it into a computer. <laughs> this is the best night of my life. <laughs> You say. Come on. <coughs> Here we go. I don't care if it rains or freezes, as long as I've got my plastic Jesus sitting on the dashboard of my car. Painted colors, pink and pears and glows in the dark of the stereo doesn't take it with you when you travel far. Get yourself a sweet Madonna dressed in white stone sitting on. A Babylon shell Going 90, I ain't scary Cause I've got my Virgin Mary Showing me that I won't go to hell Whoa! Yeah. 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 Have a sip of wine, Sam. Have a sip of wine. <laughs> Set so yourself. You are going back into Star Wars world. There's a... Yeah. Is, it, is it an Obi-Wan Kenobi spin-off or just a Star Wars spin-off? Yeah. It's, um, it's the Obi-Wan Kenobi story, I suppose. OK. Yeah. So, that's, that's, so it's you. It's all you. Uh, well, it's not all me, but it's, but it's, it's certainly... Will be a lot of me, which is good. Well, and to a lot. and uh, Shirley's looking forward to it already. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, we start shooting it in March next year. Yeah, we start Can shooting. I ask a question? Yes, please. Because I love yeah. Star Wars. Yeah. I know you're still a young man, but you're steadily getting closer to Alec yeah. Guinness's age in yeah. the original stuff. Do you feel you have to be like look a bit more like he was in the first Star Wars movies because you're you're coming up on the outside track and you're catching him up now? <laughs> Soon you'll be his age. <laughs> yes, totally. I mean, the, the the fun thing about doing them in the first place when I was much younger was trying to imagine Alec Guinness. How would he play these scenes as a younger guy? And I, and it got I, it, it led me to watch a lot of his early work, which I hadn't seen before. Brilliant movies, wonderful films that he'd been in. Um, and I, I just had such a great time sort of studying him in those movies. There was a great film called The Card that I'd never seen about a, a rag and bone man who ends up being a sort of mayor of a town or something. Um, so this time, as you say, Frank, I'm much closer in age to him. And it will be, it will be my challenge to try and sort of meet him somewhere, you know. I love Alec Guinness. I never got to meet him, but I love him through his work, and um, it's a great honour to be able to, to sort of try and, try and pretend to be him a bit younger, you know? Uh, interestingly, the Obi-Wan Kenobi, your braid that you wore in the first films, it was recently up for auction. Now, it does yeah. look... It looks slightly less impressive not attached to your head. This is, this is how it appeared in the auction catalogue. <laughs> <laughs> now... Uh, Good game, good game. Shirley Ballas, how much did that braid of hair go for? 50,000. OK. Oh. Uh, how much... Uh, no, no, you, no, you can't answer yet. Don't answer uh, yet. Oh, yeah. uh, Ashley, what do you think? Oh, um... 51,000. <laughs> OK. <laughs> uh, Frank, you are a Star Wars fan. How much would you pay for I that? I am, and I don't, I don't want to go lower in case you and he's deeply offended. I'm going to say 28 grand. Yeah, it went for three. Uh, <laughs> No, not three dollars. Three thousand. Three thousand. I was. So, I was so that would have been three dollars. Would have been really rude. No, three thousand. I was thinking what I would pay. Because <laughs> you are you working with a frozen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just worked with Josh. Um, Josh Gad. Gad. Yeah. Yes. And on a on a Beauty and the Beast for Disney. You're doing Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, for Disney. the candlestick. You are really good at rubbing it in this evening. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they're not Lumiere. You're yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they're not cutting out Lumiere. Lumiere's yeah. in. Lumiere. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm terrible. The French. I, I, I've been living with a French. I'm married to a French woman 20 years, more than 20 years. And um, I thought, yeah, I've, I can do the French accent. And I got there and I couldn't <laughs> at all. Be and it was guest, so many guest, people there. Service to the test. Yes, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> but 
<laughs> you see, that's what I did. And they said, no, don't do the... Don't do the R. Don't, they didn't want the French R. Mm. So when you take the French R out and you do an R, you suddenly become totally Mexican. <laughs> be our guest, be our guest. You <laughs> set us to the test. <laughs> and behind the glass, I can see them all going, OK, just wait a minute, you. And I'm going... <laughs> <laughs> fighting behind the glass, and I'm sitting there going, oh, shit, I can't do it. <laughs> so I'm going to have to redo my, all I my voice, I think. I'll you go, it. maybe I'll, I'll get you it. in. Yeah. I'll get you in. Although they'll probably cut it. Yes. <laughs> And then that would mean they would cut me, so I'll do no, it. I'll, you'll, I'll, do it. I'll, you'll do it. You'll do it. I'll work on you, it. You've made really got interesting choices, the films you've made, you know, over the years, kind of train spotting, Big Fish, all these, you know, really good, interesting. The anomaly, the one that kind of seems out of kilter with the rest, was that you decided to do Star Wars. Yes. Were you, like, a big fan of Star Wars? Was it uh, just so much money? What was it? No, it, it, was, it wasn't so much money. <laughs> I know that now. At the time, I thought it was a lot of money. Um, no, no, I was a big fan of them. When I, when I was about seven, I think, when the first one came out, and my uncle was in all the first, the original three, Dennis Lawson, he played this character called Wedge. There he is, Dennis. I said, oh, yeah. uh, Dennis, what, um, uh, I, I think I'm getting close to getting this cast in Star Wars, and he went, don't do it, don't do it. Because he's, he's been plagued with it, you know, he, he did about a couple of weeks' work on the, the, the original did he three. Get... No, he managed to survive all three of them. Oh, wow. He was an X-wing pilot or something, and um, but he just said, if you want to have a career after you're 30, just don't do it, Ewan. But he was wrong, so yeah. you know. I l I luckily, I didn't listen to him anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> what an idiot! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it must have been a weird thing because presumably that stage of your career, you thought you were famous. Yeah. But then you did Star Wars, and it must have moved uh, yeah. into a whole different realm. I don't know. I. I don't, I don't know, cos I thought I was really, really famous, so I didn't really make much difference to me. <laughs> <laughs> I was walking around just being famous. <laughs> oh, you of course believe. you know who I oh am. God, I'm famous. <laughs> no, I suppose it did change, it did change things, but ultimately I think this, the film itself was the star, you know, Star Wars was the star of our ones, and, and whereas before I think, um, George was limited in the technology they had available, so the, 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 the characters became you know, more iconic in a way. And because he had so much more access to technology than the ones that we made, that, that became more of the star of Star Wars, was the, the kind of effects and the technology and everything. And so I've been left kind of not that bothered by them, really. You know? it, well, didn't you visit the... Is it a Star Wars set museum or something in Tunisia when you were yeah. on one of the, on one of the bike yes, rides? Yes, that was one of my less famous moments. <laughs> <laughs> There's a set... You know, the, you know Uncle Owen's place in the original... In the, in the original Star Wars film, Uncle Owen and Aunt oh, Peru, the they live in this hole in the ground. Oh, it's yeah, like yeah, a, yeah. thing, yeah. So that still exists. It's a tourist attraction for, I can only assume, really serious Star Wars fans who go to Tunisia to find this hole and, and go down and look at the old props and stuff. It's a bit sad, really. Not them, not the people, the <laughs> place. <laughs> the place itself. Yeah. The people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I, we went, we were on our, on our motorcycle trip long way down. We, we were going past it, so we stopped and we said we should go, it'd be funny. So we went down there and, and uh, I didn't get recognised by anybody. <laughs> not, one, not one person. I was wearing a long way down t shirt with McGregor written on the back of it, all the way across my shoulders. Not one person recognised. I just found a poster of myself which I stood next to. <laughs> <laughs> For about 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> not one person. <laughs> disappointed. And I, I've heard a mixed report. Is it true or not that you, you kept a lightsaber? Uh, I officially don't own a lightsaber. Oi. <laughs> <laughs> Props guy gave me one. No, he didn't. <laughs> because they bought some uh, oh, lightsabers, which oh, I, they, they're pretty good, aren't they? they? Now, oh, that one's on already. Oh, uh, hang on. Oh, hang on. You have to know what you're doing with these, you y see. You do, though. Oh, yeah. do, you, do you want that? Is that the, which one would you like? Which one looks like yours? Um, the one in the middle is, I think, uh, the, the one I use. That's, uh, that's Alec Guinness's one. Oh, then it's yours. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. This these one... are really nice. It's amazing. How do you turn that Can one on? Can you bang them against each other? Will they break? Oh, no, they won't. <laughs> but you, you make the sound effects yourself, don't you? Do you want, a, do you want one? Not at all. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Go, go. You get a good swing. Oh, right look on. at that! <laughs> what? That's fantastic! But can you make the noises? Oh, can I? Is it true that you did this thing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you've been asked this a thousand times. Yeah. Like in Rocky, they did this in Rocky as well, where they had to 
you would make the sound effects yourselves. <laughs> so they had to go back and, like, sound was a nightmare because it was a bunch of people going, vroom. <laughs> <laughs> No, it wasn't. Uh, there, uh, to begin with, it was quite difficult not to make the sound. Yeah. And also when it goes away, because it makes that nice shh noise when it goes down. Oh, yes. How, how do you switch Have you heard off? that in Rocky, the partly, like, the, in the first film particularly? It's just loads of sound effects of Sylvester Stallone going... <laughs> <laughs> Let's have, the light, let's have the lights down. Let's have the lights down. Okay, so lights you, have down. To, you have to start them up. Oh, OK, so off, yeah. off. off. <laughs> How do you do that? Uh, we have much to there, learn. There. Oh, there, there, it's off now. There oh, you there you go. go. Sorry, there you got go. it. Go. Okay, okay, so okay. when you put it on, it has to make this sound noise. Go. <laughs> 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 Mine's doing it. Mine keeps going off though when I twirl it. I could. Ow! They'll <laughs> break. They'll break. Oh, 150 see, quid each. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how much are they cost? 150 quid each. They're good though, aren't they? If I. Are you going to cook it? If I throw you something, can you get? Get over. Do it over here. Hang on, I'll throw this here. Wait, 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 who's who? You just. You, there you go. Actually, I should be throwing. Can you Maybe, play, Can you throw a ball, Chris? <laughs> oh, don't be like that. I can't man. throw it. Don't be, no, no. You go, you go, you go, you go. Okay, okay, here we go. All right, I go, we're going. Let's baseball it. Baseball then. it okay. instead. Okay. Yay! Well done. Very good. Woo! Uh, beautiful. If you want to. What are you going to do with them? You can have them if you want to. Well, we can sign them and give I'm them to charity. Oh, that's a really good right? idea. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You take yours, you sign two, and you're going to That's a very good idea. <laughs> That's a very good I'm idea. I'm going to sit here like this for the rest of the interview. <laughs> you look like a snooker player. Like yeah. <laughs>